What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about the Halloween franchise in this video here today. And then I'll teeter off into talking about my thoughts on what I think is going to happen with the Crystal Lake show. Given the current standings and allegations surrounding Brian Fuller, unfortunately. But getting into Halloween, we know that with the Halloween franchise, currently one of the biggest bit of news we got towards the end of September was at 824 was in the lead to obtain television rights to the Halloween franchise. And we know that Trankus, which is Malika Cod's company, they are open to doing both film and TV projects. So knowing that A24 is leading the charge to obtain possible TV rights to the series was a very bit of exciting news to discover from Bloody Disgusting again at the end of September. And we know that courtesy of One Take News, they apparently, Malika Cod that being, one of the top priorities was a six episode tv show set in the same universe of season of the witch now whether or not that actually still happens if we get a tv show of course i don't know that but that's what one take news was reporting they had learned was a top priority for a cod now what i want to talk about was what actually came out of a cod's mouth supposedly from the h45 panel according to the slaughtered lamb so shout out to you for putting out this tweet a few weeks ago at this point or a few days ago i'll say because it was on september 30th they put out a tweet saying that this is what Malika Cod had to say about Halloween in the future of the franchise. Really cool stuff is coming. There's a kernel of truth in last week's rumors. The plan is to keep the franchise at an elevated level. Possible announcement by this Halloween. Now, the key statements there was elevated level and plans to keep the franchise at an elevated level. So the word elevated recently, of course, I think me, many of you, probably some of you who might not be too no in the know about this because a lot of people don't obviously use this type of terminology when discussing a24 films that is what people would refer to a lot of what a24 put out as elevated horror movies like the witch movies like hereditary movies like midsummer or midsummer all of that stuff was referred to as elevated horror that type of horror you would have to sit down and watch multiple times but elevated horror if you really want to put that as what a24 is putting out that's not new you could say the shining is elevated horror basically elevated horror was attached to anything that would require you to sit down and the script wouldn't hold your hand the whole time and it was actually going to require you to be engaged with what you're watching that was referred to as elevated horror with him saying it's going to be sticking to a or trying to keep it at an elevated elevated level i'm starting to think okay maybe a24 actually did secure the rights to the tv deal and we're about to get a tv show from a24 now with the again report being that the top priority for a cod was doing a six episode show in the season of the witch universe would that still happen my honest belief there is that while i wouldn't mind it i don't think that's what they're going to do i i still think that the I, I think they're in a mindset now where they understand the money is in Myers. The money is in characters already established within the Myers universe and the Myers continuity of stories they've been telling for the past 20 years at this point. What I still would love to see is a TV show with Dr. Loomis, his encounters with Michael Myers at a psychological drama level for one season and then progress it, elevate it, no pun intended, Elevated into a second season where Myers escapes, make it a little bit more horrific, obviously throwing the slash slasher elements and you can go from there. And then a third season where it can be wrapped all up three seasons, maybe 12 episodes each, uh, a 12 episode season for three seasons. And then that can be your Halloween show. Started off with Dr. Loomis and his encounters with Michael Myers as a young boy in Smith's Grove. Season two can be Myers breaking out, going to Haddonfield and terrorizing the community. If you want to keep it all on one specific night or even make it make it a case where one season is the first Halloween he strikes. The third season, final season, be Halloween, he returns to the town, introduce new characters, obviously. Don't bring in Laurie Strode, don't bring in Annie, don't bring in any of the people we already know and love. The only two people that will be the same are Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis. I would love to see a show like that. I think that's what they would ultimately do if we get a TV show. But his comments about it being sticking to an elevated level, that makes me think that A24 
definitely got the rights but time will tell they're saying that an announcement possibly could come by halloween so there seems to be obviously things in the works which lends credit to what was already being reported by bloody disgusting i hope we do actually get something before halloween and i hope it's something exciting but if it's not michael myers and a tv show for michael myers what else if we do get a tv show would you like to see from a halloween series what would you like to see out of a season of the witch show what would you like to see if not done from the perspective of dr loomis what would you like to see if it's done from the perspective of michael myers i personally would not want to see a show from that perspective because i think the show should still try to try to preserve what has already always been the intent which is not to humanize the character too much always keep that mystique around him i think placing it in his shoes would be teetering into the territory of what rob zombie did which was fine for the first movie in that chunk of what it was but i still think doing that again we should now have it from the perspective of the man who always likes to hype him up dr loomis put me in dr loomis's shoes let me get a feel of what actually going on in his head when he has these sessions with this little boy what is he thinking in the sessions what is he thinking out of the sessions create these very tense sequences that would only create an appeal to not only what he's seen but to me as a viewer when he's looking into those black eyes and that blank pale emotionless face let me be able to come to terms with why he views michael this way by creating a lot of suspense having it in his perspective not michael's perspective put it in michael's perspective might end up in the same thing that happened with rob zombies halloween depending on how you do it i might start to be on michael myers side and feel bad for everyone i feel bad for him and say forget everyone else granted i highly doubt that they'll give us a show where all the characters are completely unlikable like rob zombies films did now on to brian fuller brian fuller as of right now is involved in a sexual sexual harassment lawsuit unfortunately and now many of you who are fans of the friday the 13th universe or franchise like myself probably like well what does that have to do with friday the 13th well if you didn't already know brian fuller is supposed to be the one creating the upcoming prequel show crystal lake which is in partner with a24 uh so that has a lot of things up in the air to me now because if you have that going on and then it, the show apparently was supposed to start filming sometime in 2024 for a 2024 release that's probably going to be put on pause i don't know how much of this will impact the show but i do know of course obviously that kevin williamson was supposed to write an episode we know adrian king was back we know that by this point they should have already had a lot of their cast in place but the strikes have just had everything on pause now unfortunately if once these strikes are all completely over brian fuller and his shenanigans are going to be another thing that just has the comeback of jason Voorhees he's had another setback unfortunately it's as if this franchise just cannot catch a break i think that his dirt is going to definitely put a pause on crystal lake i think it's going to just completely send things into uncertainty for a while and then once that plays out depending on how it goes for him then they'll decide how they want to move forward with crystal lake i don't think crystal lake as a whole will be pulled i think brian fuller's shenanigans unfortunately are going to put it on pause until that's resolved and they can figure out how to move forward and beyond from mr fuller let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video